Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. To returning subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you. And if you're just joining me for the very first time, thank you so much. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and guess what, guys? We're about to have a ride of a lifetime. So the Big Brother Niger lockdown gang highlights continued tonight, and of course, we had the highlights from the day three and the day four. So it was the morning, and of course, all the housemates moved into the arena to have their morning exercises, and of course, as usual, praise took time to put them through dance exercises. And then after the morning exercise, we saw Prince giving Katrina a massage on her legs, and then Lecor and Erika stood watching. Now, one thing I've observed between yesterday's highlights and today's highlights is the fact that we kind of have Erika more on the screen, especially yesterday, she had more screen time than today, obviously, but we began to see how Lecor, the journey between Lecor and Erika began to build. So this time around, we could see Lecor putting his hands on her shoulder, trying to talk to her. We could see the connection that was trying to brew between Lecor and Erika. So for me, I think that Lecon began to like Erika from the third day properly. At this point, it began to look like, okay, Lecon was already developing interest in Erika. Of course, Erika was liking the friendship that was brewing between both of them. And of course, Erika was now asking Lecon, hey, what's up? How many people like this Prince guy giving a massage? Then she eventually realized that, okay, Prince had given somebody else a massage and was giving Katrina a massage. And she went to Neo and asked Neo to give her a massage. After that, the housemate sat in the living area. And of course, we're having a conversation about one thing, one stupid thing they've done for love and one thing that caught my attention was the fact that Katrina said that she's never been in love obviously she just spoke about the fact that she just separated from her husband who was about 60 something year old so it automatically meant that you know what she was never in love with a man she was probably in love with a man for something else maybe money whatever it was but she was never in love with a man who she was married to. Then the housemates had their very first task from Big Brother. Of course, Big Brother told them to make their own face mask and of course their own hand sanitizers, giving them the procedure in making it. Like we all remember, this happened during the lockdown season as we had the whole pandemic in that moment. So it was really imperative for Big Brother to just tell them, you know what, in light of what is happening at the moment, it was imperative or it was important for the housemates to be able to tell the viewers that it was important for them to sanitize their hands and use their face mask. Now the housemates had their very first diary session and of course they came in one after the other telling Big Brother what they've experienced so far in the first two days, how they excited to be in the house and one thing that caught my attention was Lilo's. Lilo in the diary room was being asked, okay, how are you feeling? Oh, she said she's fine. Then Big Brother asked her the question, he's been observing that herself and Eric were getting close. What can she say about that? Then she said, you know what, Sam, Eric is always talking to me. I don't know. And in my mind, I'm like, yo, I mean, I remember that video specifically. At that point, I just looked at it like, girl, you had this opportunity to tell the world what was brewing between you and Eric. It was a show. It is a show, rather. It was a show at that time. And all you needed to do was just sell yourself to the world. So she started acting like, she started acting dumb. If that's the right word to use. She was acting dumb and of course couldn't even express herself properly. I know that right now Lilo is you know, way smarter than that. I'm sorry if that sounds like an insult, but I don't think it is. She's way smarter, she's more outspoken. I'm sure by the time she came out of the house, she found out that she never used the opportunity she had in the house properly. That was why in the interviews after she was evicted, she was saying that Eric was a distraction to her. I feel the both of them were distractions to each other. That's what I would say. I feel that she also didn't know exactly what she wanted to do in the house. She came into the house and the next thing she saw a six pack guy and the next thing she fell for the guy and in two weeks, she was out of the game. Meanwhile, I remember that Kaisha was crying in the diary room. She was the very first person to cry in the diary room and the second person to cry in the house because Lucy was the first person to cry in the house when she was having a conversation with Ozo. And guess what? She was telling Big Brother that she doesn't understand the people in the house and that she doesn't even understand the vibe that they're giving her. And I'm sure that at some point that led to the, you know, to the broad that breathed between herself and Lucy because at some point people weren't literally understanding her. Kaisha at some point would sit down, if you watch the show properly, she would just sit down and be talking to herself and at some point I'm like, oh, I hope this girl is not going mad. And then we now saw Eric and Lilo in the garden and the conversation that we're having was about the fact that, okay, would we have a relationship? Can we have a relationship? Because I think at that point, Lilo had told Eric that, you know what? I have a boyfriend outside of the house. Obviously, I'm not saying like, you should, you should have it in your mind like, oh, um, she's going to be with me boyfriend for me. So you could as well I 
So, you know, um, Lilo was, Lilo was, you know, eager to hear what Eric had to say. Eric wasn't coming as, you know, as a guy he is. He wanted to take things slow. He wanted to observe and all of that. He was trying to calculate his whole move because now he understood the fact that Lilo has a boyfriend outside. So, is it like I'm wasting my time with this girl in the house or not? But Lilo was just, you know, was trying to table her cards, place her cards open, saying, you know what? If you're serious with me, there's most likely every possibility that I'm not going to be with that person outside. But you know what, um, um, Eric was just trying to say, um, I was coming to the house, Eric tried to tell her what happened when he was coming to the house, how that he wanted to, he was coming as a single person and he wanted to have a relationship in the house. So Lilo was telling him, you know, to be forthcoming, I mean, if you're serious with me right now, what makes you think that I would not leave the person outside? That's what she was telling him. So I mean, I've told you that I have a boyfriend outside, but hey, we have something that is brewing here. So if you're serious with me, Eric, I am probably going to leave the guy outside, you understand, and then we can take things seriously after we get, after we get outside of, of the house. But in the long run, once you got outside of the house, and saw that you know what she had messed up in terms of not showing exactly what she was made to do in the house she started turning the tables and saying that you know what eric was this was that distracted her and all of that finally on the highlights for me because i'm actually literally picking the most important part of the highlights and trying to bring the analysis to you which is very important now um the four they four the housemates woke up and all of that they were excited about it then you know big brother told them to start talking about the places they visited because big brother had in the conversations they were having with each other that uh, most of them have been outside of the country erica traveled out telling anybody to travel out catch up into germany and india a lot of people have traveled you know um bright did a um, course outside of country um also also had his uh, master's degree outside of the country so big brother gave them a task to, to say that you know tell us the places you've been both in nigeria and of course outside of nigeria and of course they took turns to talk about you know places they've been to and all of that and we also saw katrina telling us that she spent two point something million if i'm not mistaken on hotels so and after that we now saw neo and eric having guy talk and at this point it was about both of them because at that point both of them had already gotten girls. Eric was with Lilo, Neo was with V. I mean, ultimately it was literally V that walked up to Neo telling him that she likes him and of course she probably wants him to vibe. So we could see Neo, you know, telling uh, um, Eric that, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the fact that, you know, this is a London girl and she walked up to me, even though he's still focused on the game, but he still likes the fact that V, you know, when she speaks, people listen to her. And, you know, um, Neo brought up a conversation which, which was also about the fact that in the very first day which I watched, there was a time where Eric and Erika were in bed and were just having a conversation. So people already paired them, saying, oh, your name is Eric, your name is Erika, I mean Eric and Erika, you guys should be a couple. And after some time, we found out that Lilo took over Eric's ship and was sailing the ship gradually. And you know, Eric was now telling you that he was already getting bad vibes from Erika, looking at the fact that she, he feels that Erika feels that, you know, he left her for Lilo. And, you know, Neil was saying that, yes, he observed the fact that Erika, he was thinking about that for Eric, that fact that how would Erika feel, seeing that Lilo was now with Eric. Definitely, those things are kind of uh, yeah, see, for the, yeah, yeah, let me see, sorry, but, I don't know about that, I don't, what's it, for the difference, totally. So I don't know this, but I can't, this is the final call if you, yeah, so I don't know if you, see, you know what I mean, yeah, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, and honestly, for me, I do not think that an Eric and an Erika relationship would work because first off, Erika was, you know, at some point, even watched the show properly, told one of the housemates, you know what, I cannot be with Eric. I am older than Eric. At that point, Eric was 24. She was probably 26. She was going to be 26. And she literally said, you know what, I don't know if it was from the fact that, you know, Eric had moved on because I feel that if Eric had stayed with her, they probably would have had something going on for them. But she said, you know what, I cannot be with Eric because I'm older than him. So basically, those were the highlights of the pop up for us tonight and of course the highlight continues again tomorrow and i'm going to be bringing you 
every highlight in details and in analysis. So for me, um, apart from the whole task they had, apart from the fact that they were eating and all of that, these were the major highlights that happened on the day two of the Big Brother Niger lockdown highlights tonight. My name is Olufemi Daniel. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and guess what? You get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok and follow me at the Femi Daniel. And until next time, I come away very soon. It's bye for now. Oh,